Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with Vaka 3001D. Looks like you will request this tank quite a bit so here you go and plus on top of that we haven't played with this tank yet so I believe uh, we can fix this. So <clears throat> what is Vaka 3001D? It is pretty mobile um, German medium tank right? And it is pretty good. I mean, looking into the speed of this vehicle, it is quite madness. Although, speed comes with a price. And um, to be fair with you, speaking about the gun alpha damage, yeah, it's not excellent. 135 alpha damage, 150 millimeters of penetration, and decent shell velocity, I can 900 meters per second. Um, and gold ammunition has a bit better penetration and a bit sh better shell velocity as well. Um, but I do not really think this tank can compete against the uh, T. 3485 for example right uh, and as you can see gun handling is not looking excellent either um, and I believe I definitely need to highlight this other than that I would say um, in the certain situations when the when the range is relatively close uh, you are going to have pretty good time but for sniping as you can see that yourself I am not making this up it is not the most accurate tank in the world of tanks Although keep this in mind, I might be unlucky um, myself and sometimes it happens right when uh, when the game is saying nope, you are not going to hit and you cannot change absolutely anything about this. Meanwhile, our squad is a bit in danger, I would say. And in fact, um, I need to figure out how to escape from here. There is no need for us to play in this side or in this um, or in this uh, position. Uy, 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 uy. Looking how the things are looking like. Yikes. Not ideal. Okay, for STG we are going to load gold. Although maybe it's not necessary. Maybe it is not necessary to go with a full gold. I am surprised how bad gun handling is treating us. I do not really think this gun handling is that bad as you are seeing here, honestly. I do not really feel um, or I did not really felt that. Wow. Okay, uh, look at this. The bloom of this vehicle is pretty crazy, right? And crazy not in the good way, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I do not really think we are going to be able to do a lot, but we are running for our life at this point. At this point we need to run for our life and to be fair with you it doesn't really uh, matter where we are going to go ramming BOOM! It doesn't really matter where we are going to run, uh, this is a game over either way, believe me. So what I figured out from the very first battle with this vehicle. Um, speaking about the gun handling wise it is not ideal tank by any means my friends. This is not an ideal tank but that's okay. Uh, it is completely understandable and I am not complaining about this too much, or am I? I am going to flank Mr. Prototype for obvious reasons, right? And if the things will go well, we should be able to eliminate him from the game. Aiming for... Oh, my bananas! I was about to say aiming for a track, but hashtag never lucky. Okay, listen. Um... It was a very first pancake for us with this vehicle and quick things which I want to mention is uh, uh, the gun handling is quite derpy, the bloom is humongous unfortunately, um, the speed is very very good, I truly enjoy playing with this tank speaking about the speed wise but the gun is not looking that great. But once again this is a very first pancake and I believe uh, the other games are going to be better. Meanwhile 1.7 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage considered what kind of situation we have, what kind of map we have, what much making we have, this is going to be completely fine. Let's teleport into the scoreboard. And we are back fellas. So after the very first game we are getting the third class, 1.7 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage, it wasn't horrible fellas. It could be better but it is how it is, no complaints, no regrets, I'm still feeling uh, pretty great with all this. Uh, second by experience. 
second by the damage uh, and we made quite a bit of well we made a bit of profits just because we completed the mission right uh, one thing what I forgot to do is to get myself a um, calm on this vehicle right because my crew is definitely not the most skilled overall so that's worth thing to say and also speaking about the crew itself I have half of the uh, first skill so it's not a big surprise meanwhile fellas why we are going to the other game night um i want to share that with you fellas we have uh, um we did a very very humongous job in the index uh lately night and that is uh crew members um pretty much we what we have done um there is suggestions what i would recommend for you to get for a uh, first skill second skill third skill fourth skill fifth skill with uh, some of the with some of the um, information over there so make sure to read this and obviously if you are into the marking tanks you can check out uh, the marking scale over there which hopefully is going to be helpful and field modifications here as well fellas we are working our ass off in order to um, make index great and the next step is going to be uh, adding ratings for the artists and this is very very important thing to say it is not going to be rated by me it is going to be rated by one of the best clickers in the game Dr. Nix uh, so hopefully this is going to be helpful for people who are uh, trying to complete art missions overall right uh, that's what we are working for so what do we want to do now Trugst Trugst okay this is not ideal if you would pay attention what do we have here fellas you would notice um, the comet made a hardcore pressure and this is not very smart by the comet and to be fair with you I think he definitely messed up uh, but you know what he's failed our victory beautiful very nice start for a game keep this in mind fellas what kind of matchmaking we have and we have once again tier 8 matchmaking so we are in humongous disadvantage for ourselves right so please keep this in mind my friends okay so we are loading the gold armor for one shot unfortunately we are not hitting him but at least we are getting the sweet assisting damage Mm -hmm. Okay, so quick, um, quickly I want to highlight the gun handling of this vehicle is not uh, that excellent, okay? This is very important thing to say. And I honestly thought uh, and I expected a bit more from the German tank overall. I'm not going to lie, fellas, I was expecting more from the German tank. Shame. Okay, it is how it is, no complaints, no regrets, I am just simply accepting that and uh, we are keep um, going uh, hard with this tank. We are going to attempt to get as much use as we physically and possibly can, right? Kaboom. Wow, the gun handling of this vehicle is making me puke, fellas. Very sad. Very, very sad gun handling indeed. Um, like I said before, I remember I played with this tank long time ago. And when I was playing with this vehicle, the gun simply treated us so much better. Um, I do not really think I am unlucky two games in a row, to be fair with you. I simply think the gun is not great of this vehicle. The aim time is taking forever, accuracy is pretty horrible, not gonna lie fellas. Uh, and, the, um, and the accuracy is horrible. Bloom is humongous, wow. Okay, uh, once again, a bit sad. I truly did not expect this from this vehicle, but you know, that's why we are playing uh, with the different tanks as well. That's why we are doing um, videos with the tanks I haven't played in a long time. And I know for a fact, um, this tank is rated as a good in index page, and I do not really think the tank is bad. But what I think... Uh, we might need to um, have improved 
aiming unit on this vehicle. That's what... Oh, my bananas. That's what I think. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Scorpion G was waiting for us here on the corner. We are getting uh, plenty of the assisting damage. And it is not a horrible game by us. Uh, but I am not very happy overall how this tank is behaving. Okay, uh, everything is fine. Let's teleport to the scoreboard and let's see what the third game will bring for us. Let's go. And we are back, unfortunately, with a second defeat, but it is how it is. Um, hashtag never lucky, fellas. Uh, 700 damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, the game did not win that well as I expected. We are third by experience. We are... Um, 8 by the damage if I'm not mistaken uh, and once again I am very 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 surprised with the gun of this vehicle fellas on the paper we have like 0.31 accuracy but this is 0.31 accuracy my butt fellas this is not looking that great so what we could potentially do we could potentially replace um, optics for improved aiming uh, this is Increasing the gun handling by humongous amount fellas and I truly mean it so let's go for around number three and let's go for the best and we are back all right um we have way I repeat way better matchmaking and now the time will show everything is it is it going to be so much better with this setup and with this equipment piece uh, or it's not going to change anything that much plus on top of that once again first two games we are against the tier 8 so this is like literally the worst case scenario and let's get real fellas you do not really want to fight against the tier 8 vehicles whenever you are playing with a tier 6 tank you just do not to want to fight against them. Um, I get the point why we have plus too much making. It is understandable uh, for for a newer players in the same time um, to get much making when you are in the plus two. It is so much better and so much more forgiving in a way, right? Um, to have the situation like this, but oh boys, oh boys, uh, this is not looking ideal for sure. Although, okay, uh, look at this gun accuracy. We are destroying Pavlak tank without even asking his name and we are not even bothering um, we are not even bothering to move that much if that makes sense right um, I am surprised how everything is looking like and how everything is working uh, the gun handling is truly looking a bit better I am not entirely sure is the gun handling looking better because we changed the equipment piece uh, or because we are a bit uh, more lucky in this game both of the case scenarios could be the case fellas it could be uh, the case in the both ways beautiful and this guy is officially f nice oh yo ikea mm, ikea is sniping from here such a bummer okay i'm accepting this nothing what i can change about that uh, apart probably going with the blind shots at this point uh, I know Ikea is sitting somewhere here, okay? And this is what we are doing. We are going to try to find an angle to punish this gentleman who is sitting uh, uh, here next to the red line. I think that's a first blind shot. I think that's a second blind shot. He is moving. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I hope we have a couple of blinds there and there, but obviously time will show everything. So, uh, quick highlight about this tank. This tank armor is not existent. The gun handling was very, very derpy, at least for me at the start of the uh, video. Although, once again, I do not have brother in arms and brother in arms can um, obviously help us quite a bit but other than that um, after first couple of games i wouldn't say this tank is absolutely amazing i would rate this tank between playable and between um and between good right also one more thing which i really want to highlight fellas uh we are thinking 
about the different scale to rate tanks not only for ratings like a bad playable good epic but we are thinking about adding the star system one out of five stars but digging a bit deeper if you ever uh seen the duke de miro videos right that gentleman is a car reviewer and he is um, rating pretty much every single aspect of the car right and what am i thinking i am thinking to do something similar in the index page as well to have the general rating obviously but in the same time to add some uh, uh, extra features like uh, um, tank gun handling overall right or 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 ability to uh, or armor and so on so on you get the point what i'm saying pretty much to uh, expand the ratings a bit and instead of having uh, good playable whatever we would have the star system uh, and and hopefully it would work pretty great what do you think about this fellas um, feel free to leave your comment down below we would take like five six characteristics of the tanks uh, or of the tank right and we would rate the we would rate them um, I think this would be pretty interesting okay so what do we want to do now we want to flank mr matilda matilda have no bloody clue uh he's about to get flanked and one very important thing which i want to say mobility of this tank is awesome mobility of this tank is absolutely legendary and epic i would even say uh you can flank enemies like there is no tomorrow and you can make them regret their life choices right this is pretty damn good and mobility wise of this vehicle is excellent and if you know how to use mobility right if you know how to push that w key i believe you are going to have definitely decent performance with this vehicle as well at least that's what I want to believe. I am pretty sure Arta is sitting somewhere here in the bush. Uh, because this IKEA shouldn't be able to spot me for obvious reasons, right? And now we are going for the Mr. Jeff. He smacked us pretty heavily, but it doesn't really matter to be fair with you. Because we are going to um, get maximum use anyways of this game. And look at this. When we are having actually decent matchmaking for ourselves, right? We are having a great performance as well. We have two points. 9,000 combined so pretty much if we connected our blind shots for IKEA which uh, uh, could be the case um, we should be able to get 3,000 plus or 2.4 2.5 thousand damage depends what kind of rolls we uh, hit this IKEA so moment of truth let's see score time and obviously, I want to ask one more thing. What do you think about this vehicle yourself? Uh, how would you rate this vehicle for now uh, between bad, playable, good, and epic? I am very, very curious. Okay, uh, by the looks of it, fellas, we did not hit IKEA with the blind shots. I am accepting that. Let it be. Uh, not much what we can change about that, right? So we finish it with the first class, with a high caliber, uh, first by experience, first by the damage. But once again, matchmaking was complete completely different in this situation. Uh, we made 62,000 profits and everything went pretty good. All and all, speaking about our uh, performance is 1.5 thousand damage and 1,000 assisting damage, which is very good considering what kind of map slash matchmaking we got. Paris and Ensk uh, being bottom tier, I mean, we scored pretty damn well and I am very, very happy with our performance uh, and what we uh, overall did in this game so fellas my friends boys and girls ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace